When the weather is perfect, there's nothing better than a nice run outside. But when it's not so great, or when it's downright miserable running weather, you have three options. Go ahead and run in the terrible and or unsafe conditions anyway, skip your run and hide under the covers, or if you have the access, hop on the treadmill. But is treadmill running really the same as running outside? Do you really need to adjust the incline or play around with your speed to make it more like outside? And why doesn't the machine ever line up with your running watch? On today's Run to the Top, I'm going to answer those questions with the latest research. I'll also go over how to use the treadmill to get the best workout, and I'll even get into how to make the treadmill a lot less dreadful. Maybe, just maybe, even fun. When it's ridiculously hot in the summer or when you're up to your eyeballs in snow in the winter, the treadmill can be a savior to keep you running when Mother Nature has other plans in mind. There's not too many people that love the treadmill, although there are a few. And there are certainly many more runners that truly despise it and won't touch their toes on one. If you're lucky enough to have access to a treadmill or unlucky depending on your perspective, how can you be sure that you are getting the same workout as you would outside? I'm sure a lot of you just said, raise the incline to 1%. Well, raising the incline can make the treadmill a bit harder, but that's not the full story. In fact, I recommend that unless you're specifically doing hill work, leave the incline alone. I'll get to why in just a minute. So what's the deal with most everyone thinking you need to raise the incline? The idea behind this is that the energy cost of running at a given pace on the treadmill is slightly lower than it is outdoors because you don't have to push against air resistance. In other words, for most people, the treadmill is easier than outside, so raising the incline neutralizes that. In addition, you also dissipate body heat more readily outdoors than you do on the treadmill. So by raising the angle of the treadmill belt 1%, this difference disappears, and running on the treadmill is no longer easier than running outdoors. This 1% rule came about in the early 1990s when researchers found that at speeds of 803 minutes per mile and slower, the energy Energy costs both inside and out were about the same, but when you crank it up to 709 minutes per mile and faster, then you need to raise the incline to 1% to create equal energy costs as outside. This is because air resistance increases at faster paces when one is running outdoors, so you need to compensate for that inside with the incline. So there you go, keep the incline at zero for slower speeds and crank it up to 1% for faster speeds, right? Not so fast. The problem with that quick and simple fix is that running is way more complex than that. There is a whole lot more going on when you run on a treadmill than just wind resistance. It turns out that even though running on a treadmill is easier physically, research shows that you are faster outside. That's right, you're faster outside, despite the fact that it's harder. What's going on? It has everything to do with your brain. Research studies on the treadmill show that test subjects' heart rates are higher at the same pace outside than inside, indicating that the athletes had to be working harder outside. But why weren't they faster inside if it was easier? Well, because while your heart rate is an indication of how hard you're working, it does not determine how fast you are going or how fast you can go. That is all about your perception of effort. It's how hard you feel you're working that determines performance. So even though the body works harder when running outdoors than it does when running on a treadmill, running outside feels easier. Samuel Marcora, an exercise physiologist at the University of Kent who famously studies the relationship between perceived effort and endurance performance, discovered that perceived effort is higher and performance is worse on the treadmill. When you run outside, there are three factors that have been shown to reduce your perception of effort. The increased airflow on your body, the visual sensation of movement, and the greater distraction from your changing environment. And for those who loathe the treadmill, the more obvious reason is that the treadmill can be dreadfully boring. And when you're bored or frustrated or angry or emotional, everything feels harder in life. The lack of visual stimulation on the treadmill can cause you to hyper-focus on how hard running feels, instead of being happily distracted by the sights outside. Or you could be scared of flying off the back of the machine or simply uncomfortable, both of which raise your heart rate and your perception of effort. Another possible factor is the ability to micro-adjust outside. You have a greater sense of freedom of movement outdoors, and you can make subtle and more frequent changes that you might not even be aware that you're doing, giving you a sense of freedom that feels more pleasant than banging away on the treadmill. 
That sense of autonomy in your movement improves mood and motivation, which probably also affects perceived effort. So if you wanna make your indoor runs as equivalent as possible to your outdoor runs, don't focus on the incline or your heart rate or even your pace. Leave the incline alone and focus on your perceived effort. If you have a hard workout, run hard. If you have an easy run, put a podcast in your ears, like the run to the top maybe, and go ahead and run easy. When you have your effort level just right, you should find that both your speed and your heart rate are slightly lower than they would be if you were running at the same effort level on the road. In other words, you will run a little slower, assuming your machine is calibrated correctly, and your heart rate will be a little lower, but you're still getting the equivalent workout as you would outside because you are working just as hard. My next tip is to turn a fan on. Not only will the breeze feel good when you get hot, but those feel good feelings of the sensation of airflow actually makes your run feel easier. Plus, you'll get that added wind resistance without needing to change the incline. The next thing to note is that your watch will never, ever be perfectly matched to the readings on the treadmill. I'm gonna blame the technology simply not being accurate enough both on your watch and on the treadmill. Using a foot pod like a stride can help because it learns your unique stride length, so it should make the readings closer, but you're just gonna have to accept a certain amount of uncertainty about the data. You wanna know what I do? I just go with the one that tells me I'm faster. Now we come to the most important question of all, how do we make the treadmill less boring? After all, the treadmill was invented as a torture device, so it's natural to hate it, at least at first. My first suggestion is to take a moment to understand how lucky you are in the first place to have access to this technology. Hating the treadmill is kind of a first world problem. So if you are fortunate enough to be able to run on one, you might want to embrace a little gratitude to have such a great tool in your life. The next thing to be grateful for is you can have your drinks, your snacks, and your bathroom all conveniently at hand. This is not the case outside, and those reasons alone are why some people grow to love the treadmill. Parents of young kids especially can benefit from a treadmill at home, and it's often the only way to sneak a run in during precious nap time. Learn to embrace any distraction that you have on hand to make it more fun. Binge watch hours of Netflix, listen to an exciting audiobook, or jam out to your favorite tunes. The less you think about the fact that you're running while going nowhere, the better. But the most important part of learning to embrace the treadmill is your attitude. You can actually transform your cranky teenager boredom into a mental challenge that will ultimately make you tougher. During a particularly snowy winter, I was training for an early spring race and spent many, many long runs on the treadmill. Eventually, I learned to lean into the experience mentally instead of dreading it, simply because I really didn't have much choice. Running hard for three hours in a gym makes you feel like a Jedi master of mind control, and it really just takes a shift in your attitude about it. I learned to actually love those long runs, staring out on the snowy landscape with fun music in my ears, lip syncing every word. I found a focal point out in the distance and played little mind games, like how long could I stare at that single spot without breaking focus? Could I make it through an entire song while staring at that same spot? I played lots of different mental mind games that winter and even got to the point where I felt like I could easily have run the entire marathon on one. I didn't actually do that, but I probably would have. And finally, my last tip is to bring a small towel and cover the screen. There is nothing worse than staring at numbers that move glacially slow, reminding you how long you've been running in place. Use your watch instead or just peek at the screen on occasion. Once you accept the fact that the treadmill is actually a great place to get mentally and physically fitter, you might just enjoy those indoor runs a little bit more. Or if nothing else, it will make you appreciate the times you get to run outside that much more.